Hi -oh. Okay, so hello, uh, my name is Matthew Little and I'm the head teacher of Darwin Vale High School. Now this is a little bit unusual, um, I'm speaking to you live from my office where normally I'd be in your primary school talking to all you year 6 students um, and telling you about what an exciting place to be Darwin Vale is. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled that your teachers and your head teacher have agreed to beam this presentation into your classrooms today um, and I'm really hoping that you'll be excited by some of the things that I've got to say. Let me start by just saying that I have got something in common with you, okay? And you might be thinking, well, what can a 40-year-old man have in common with us? All I can say is that I'm a father as well. You may have noticed from my office some of the pictures that my children have done for me over the years and some of the pictures of my kids themselves, okay? But I am a father of three and I know what it's like to be in your position. A, I know what it's like to go through year six and the dreaded sats. Now, last year's year six has got a little bit lucky, or unlucky some might say, and they didn't have to do those examinations, but I don't anticipate that you will get off as lightly, so it seems pretty certain that you will have to do those examinations. The second thing that you've got to go through this year is the most important decision in your lives, and my eldest child there, George, he looks quite young when, when that was taken, but he's 14 now, so he had this decision to make. The next one who'll have the decision is Carrie. She's my, uh, she's my second eldest child, and she's nine, so she's in year five this year. So, what am I suggesting that you should do? Um, I think all I'm suggesting is that you attend as many open evenings and you keep your options open for as long as you can. Now that's going to be a little bit curious this year, isn't it? Because with the whole situation around COVID, there may not be as many live open evenings as there would normally be. Um, I do know that a lot of schools in the local area are having um, what we're calling virtual open evenings and that's something that we're going to be doing at Darwin Vale. We're going to hopefully go a little bit further though at Vale and we're going to hopefully be able to offer the opportunity for you guys to get into school in a really, really safe way. So we'll be doing social distancing, we'll be um, insisting on the use of face masks, there'll be a very, very small number of people on site at any one time and we'll be taking you on guided tours. Now to get on one of those tours you'll have to book um, and, and there's a couple of reasons for that really, A to make sure that you stay safe and B because of how popular we're anticipating that those tours are going to be. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more about our open evening in a while and I'll tell you a little bit more about our tours in a while. Um, my message is that I'm encouraging you to go and look at as many schools as possible and, and that is my message. I do believe that that's something you should do. When my eldest son chose his school we went and looked at a number of secondary schools and I can honestly say that the school he believed he was going to and the school I believed he was going to, which were two very different places at that time, were neither of them the school that we ended up picking for him. So again, you know, I'm strongly encouraging that you go and have a look at a number of schools because you just might be surprised by what you see and what you hear when you go to those virtual open evenings or hopefully when you come along to our um, live event. So I'm encouraging you to go and see a number of open evenings and you might think, well that's a bit silly, Mr Little, you're the head teacher at Darwin Vale, surely you should be encouraging us to come to Vale. And I am, I am. I'm the head teacher at Darwin Vale and I'm really proud of our school. Um, why am I proud of our school? There are so many reasons, but really what, what I think that we're all about at Darwin Vale is this real ethos, okay? So we aim really high, we set the bar really high at Darwin Vale. Um, a lot of people, this is a very famous quote, one of my favourite quotes of all time, the great danger for most of us lies not setting our aim too high and falling short, but setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. And what that sort of means is, it's too easy sometimes for us to just settle for good enough. But at Darwin Vale, we don't. Okay, we set the bar really high in terms of what we expect from you, in terms of your academic exam results, your teaching, um, your behaviour around school, the way you conduct yourselves, and of our staff. Okay, so we set the bar really high. We also work hard. 
There's no substitute in life for hard work. You will not achieve success without hard work. A famous sociologist in America, a guy called Malcolm Gladwell, once worked out, I don't know how he worked this one out by the way, but he reckons he worked out that it takes 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert at anything. Now that's a lot of hours, isn't it? That's an awful lot of hours. Some of the people he looked at, getting a bit old now, but he looked at David Beckham, who was a famous footballer and used to put hours and hours and hours of practicing on the football field. He looked at Mozart, the famous composer, musician, who was performing his own symphonies by the age of 13, but he'd already put thousands of hours of practicing to become that brilliant musician that he was. So 10,000 hours. You might not do 10,000 hours of maths at Darwin Vale, but we'll be certainly encouraging you to work hard. But finally, at Vale, we care. We're not just an exams factory. We're not just a school where we're going to insist that you're working hard all the time and we're not looking after you as an individual, okay? Another famous quote there, children don't care what you know until they know that you care, and that is really true. We aim at Darwin Vale to get to know our students and to make sure we provide superb pastoral care for you. We, you'll each have a, a designated head of year who has a non-teaching role, so they're, they're on hand all the time to look after your every need. Okay, and you might be thinking, well, you know, where did that quote from quote come from, sir? That was the TV personality super vet. I thought it was a great quote, okay. So, I've talked a little bit about being part of a team. Um, and that's something you're gonna hear a lot of at Darwin Vale. We talk about hashtag Team Vale, we are Team Vale. That's, that's more than just a, a glib phrase, okay. We really do come together as a school community. And you can see here some of the wonderful opportunities that you'll be afforded if you choose to come up to Vale. You can see there our wonderful school productions, the amazing work we do for charity. You can see nearly the whole school packed into the sports hall there when we raise money every year with our marathon 24-hour circuit training event that raises money for Daddy and House. All the opportunities our young people have to get involved in the world of work. There's our year sevens going to work day. Um, Foreign trips, you can see here some of our Year 11s down in London, some of our Year 11 and Year 10 students uh, in Poland where they went to Auschwitz to look at um, the Holocaust, that was a history visit. And some of our amazing sporting success. We're a school that really, really has a great tradition of sporting success. We've got town champions in year nine, athletics, basketball, football, a school with a real history and tradition of sporting success. So why do I think Vale is such an amazing place to come to school? I think there's probably four reasons. I think A, our building, and our facilities are absolutely first rate. And if I give you a few examples from our amazing ICT facilities with our Mac suite, every department has a purpose-built ICT breakout zone. We've got an amazing sports hall with an electronic scoreboard and a great 4G AstroTurf pitch. I've even been known to play the odd game of football out there when the staff team take on our year 11s. I'm getting a bit old for it now. That pitch seems awfully big for old men like me, but it's good fun. Um, and probably what I think the, the most amazing facilities at Vale is our art facilities. We have the most beautiful art rooms, double art rooms that lead out onto an amazing terrace that overlooks the Darwin Moors and you can actually open the doors and go out onto the terrace and paint outside in the summer um, on the few days of the year when we don't actually get rain. So an amazing, an amazing facility there. Uh, so just some fabulous facilities at Darwin Vale and I would encourage you to have a look around our website and encourage you to get signed into that virtual tour and ideally to try and come along to our open evening. So we've got an amazing building. We've got some fantastic students. 
and they come from a whole wide range of primary schools. You can see there some primary school students working and doing some work up at Darwin Vale. I'm sure some of you in the past may well have been up to Vale for dance events, for sports events. We try and do an awful lot of work with our primary schools, our partner primary schools, but we have an amazing set of students, a set of students that are growing every year. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a moment. We've got fantastic staff, really, really hard working and committed staff who were just absolutely dedicated to improving your education and to putting amazing opportunities on like the ones that I've described already. And finally, what, what is the secret of our success? I believe it's the contribution of the local community and in particular parents. We have a really, really committed parental community who, who really invest a lot in their children's education and that kind of support and that kind of partnership between parents and school is absolutely crucial. So why else should you choose Vale? So outcomes, you come to school to have a great time, to enjoy an outstanding and enjoyable education, but you want to get the right results. And for the last few years now, Vale has been flying in terms of this direction, in terms of our results. So you can see there, in 2019, we saw our greatest ever exam results. They were superb. Massive, massive improvement on years that have gone before. I don't know if you've, you know, what you've heard about Vale, but certainly in 2019, our exam results skyrocketed and you can see there a couple of our really successful young, man, young men and then in 2020 again we improved again there's our head boy Lucas Almond with his clutch of grade nines which was a fantastic result for Lucas and for the whole school and that that tradition of academic success or that reputation for our academic success is really really growing what you can see here is a, a, one of our ex-students, she left a couple of years ago now, this is Fionn Fox and she was our head girl, she's just secured a place at Oxford University to study law, um, so that's real evidence of how Vale's reputation for academic success is getting our students on to the rungs of higher education and real, real genuine success. So again, you can see there our exam results from 2018, 2019 and 2020. I don't expect you to read the numbers. What I expect you to do is see the colours. And you can see that year upon year, we're improving our exam results. I've put them there on a little graph so that you can see they're just our English and maths results going up and up and up every year. And now our exam results are above national average, which is fantastic. Why else, why should you choose Vale? Well, inspectors, school inspectors who've been into the school said some of these things and some of the students who were here told the inspectors some of these things. All the pupils talked about the many positive changes at Vale since the last school inspection. And students talked about the school being a safe place to be, enjoying the range of clubs and activities on offer. So pupils said that they were happy at Vale, which is obviously the main thing. Pupils are rising to our increased expectations. So that was what I was telling you about before, the fact that we've got really high standards at Vale. And that's about us having respect for you. This isn't good enough. We want this, okay? We're gonna demand the best out of you so you achieve your potential. Behaviour continues to improve and get better and better and better. There's very little bullying, it's dis decreased. And where it does happen, it's dealt with really, really quickly. The achievement in year 11 pupils in 2019 improved massively in English and maths and pupils made far more progress between key stages 2 and 4 in those subjects. And parents, and again coming back to that parental community, parents have got great confidence in the school. This is what the inspectors said. Over four-fifths would recommend the school to other people, which is fantastic. So why else? <laughs> You better get your applications in quick because for the first time this year, okay, we are full. So in our year 11, we've got about 150 students. In our year seven, we have 250 students. We are rammed full to the rafters, okay? In year eight, we've got about 230. So with every year group, as we go down the school, there are more and more students. Now we anticipate, we expect to be full again.
So this is why I'm encouraging you, if you are keen on securing a place at Vale, you need to get those applications in. And then just the last couple of things that are quite exciting, things that are on the horizon. I don't know if there's any cricketers in the room um, or in the, in the primary schools around where I'm talking to, but we are looking to become the elite cricket academy in the North West, working with Lancashire Cricket. There's already been a deal with the Darwin Town Board to secure £25,000 to look at creating a cricket academy at Darwin Vale. Now, if that's successful, there'll be an awful lot of money invested in Vale um, to ensure that that cricket academy becomes a reality for students up in uh, the Darwin area and at Darwin Vale High School, which is really exciting. Again, I'm a keen cricket fan myself, follow Lancashire, love to watch England, so really excited about that. So, what next? I'm here today on the video. I've also sent some of our school prospectuses to your primary schools. So I'm encouraging you to take those away today. Have a look at them at home. They've been sent to your primary school 72 hours in advance of today. So they've, they've been in that quarantine time. And I just want to encourage you to have a think about a couple of dates for your diary. Okay. Now the 31st of October is the final date for applying for your secondary school place. So it's really important that you get those forms in as early as you can, okay? But I also wanna draw your attention to the 8th of October and the 21st of September. So I'm also gonna be leaving with your year six teachers today, some little flyers, some little postcards, and those postcards are in, uh, encouraging you to attend our open evening, our virtual open evening. Now you can see there that that is happening on the 8th of October. You'll have the chance to go on the Darwin Vale website, log in and get onto our virtual open evening. Now there'll be a speech by me that your parents will probably want to listen to. There'll be interviews with all of our members of staff, all of our key staff, and there'll be an all kinds of awesome video tours. Uh, there's going to be a video tour of the school. There's going to be drone footage of the school from, from an aerial view. So some fantastic stuff taking place on that open evening. Also, on the other side of your flyer are the details for booking your own personal tour. So, should you wish to come along to Vale and have a look around, and I'd encourage you to do so, we'll be making sure it's totally COVID safe, then you'll have the opportunity to book your personal tour. And the booking system for that is live on our website. I'm going to show it to you in a moment. but. From the 21st of September, that date's probably already gone by the time some of you will be watching this video, but from the 21st of September, you will be able to book your personal tour. Now again, we're only having 50 people on the school site at any one time, so we anticipate demand for those tours are going to be quite high. Um, so on the 8th of October, in addition to our virtual tour, we'll be having people on site and myself and my senior team will be guiding people around the site in really, really secure and in a safe manner. So if I just show you a couple of things now, um, A, I'm going to show you the booking system. So this is the booking system for our live event, our live open evening, when we'll be having tours on site, really, really safe. I'd love to say that I designed the booking system, but I didn't. So I'm gonna give Mr. Bradley a shout, who's been key in organizing this. Mr. Bradley, can you come over here and explain how- Thank you very much, Mr. Little, and hi guys. All I'm gonna do now is very quickly show you how you would book online to go onto our tour of the school. This will be taking place, as Mr Little has said, on the 8th of October. So all you'll do, you'll put the web address on into Google that is on your flyer, and that will bring you to this page. When you get onto this page, all you quite simply do is click on register. When you click on register, it will take you to this page. What you're able to do at a different time slot shown on here is book your tour. Now it's very important you do this. You need to book one place for one person that's attending. So let me make that clear again, if that is yourself, your mum and your dad, you will need to book three spaces. So if you wanted to go on the five o'clock tour at 1700, you will book three places. That's it. 
dead straightforward, really simple. So if you want to have a look around the come and have a look around the school, we look forward to seeing you on the 8th of October. Thanks very much. Thanks, Mr. Bradley, and I'm really hoping that I see some of you there on that evening, uh, live in person. Now, I've told you an awful lot about Darwin Vale, and I've I've really bigged it up, haven't I? Okay. And some of you might be thinking, well, you're bound to say that, Mr. Little. You're the head teacher. So let me leave you finally with the words and the actions of our students and our staff themselves. Mr. Broderick, who is our director of progress for year seven and leads on all the primary tr transition activities, is an absolute whiz when it comes to making videos. And this is one that he prepared for the end of our school year to celebrate what is effectively a year in pictures at Darwin Vale. I am not a stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are But I won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us For we are glorious When the sharpest words want to cut me down Gonna send a blood, gonna drown him out. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. I get a lump in my throat watching that. Some amazing achievements, some amazing experiences for the young people and for us as staff as well. Um, yeah, just absolutely thrilling watching that. 
I want to sign off and I just want to remind you finally about those dates for your diary, okay? So big encouragement, if you can, if you feel you're up to it, get yourself down to our live opening on the 21st of September. Make sure you book your tickets, as Mr Bradley's already indicated, because it's going to be an in-demand event. If you can't get to that live open evening, then get yourself, make yourself, make yourself be online for our virtual open evening on the 8th of October. And finally, make sure you get your applications in early before the 31st of October if you want to secure your place at Darwin Vale. Great to meet you.